So Nate Robinson, welcome to the Golden State Warriors. Uh, thank you for having me. So what are your original, you know, what were your first thoughts on uh, joining the Dubs? Uh, I mean, my first thoughts were, you know, definitely high ones. Uh, had uh, high expectations, of course, but uh, I mean, it's a great organization, you know, a place where I grew up watching, you know, I'm from right down the street, Oakland, California. Grew up in North Oakland. My dad's from out here, my grandmother all, my dad's side of the family's from, uh, you know, from Oakland, so. Yeah, I'm real familiar. I uh, went to James Logan High School my junior year, so uh, I know the area pretty well. What do you think you bring to this team? What are they missing, or what can you add? Uh, I mean, I'm just I'm me. Uh, I bring a lot of energy, uh, a lot of love, a lot of hard work, and uh, you know, just winning. I just try to be the you know the best player that I can be to you know better my teammates and make sure they're doing a great job and uh, you know get the fans involved and you know hopefully you know help this team win uh, you know many 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 more games that they I know they, that they can win. You come across as a fun guy doing dances on the bench and stuff. Did you pick that up from softball? Uh, uh, no, nah, I'm just uh, I mean it's just me. I'm I'm a, I'm a love. A loving, you know, happy spirit, and I just, you know, love to, uh, you know, to rub off the right way uh, across people, and you know, just, uh, just always trying to think positive and have, po you know, positive energy, bounce from one guy to another. You've been in the playoffs twice, once with Boston, once last year with OKC. So you bring this team a much needed, you know, playoff experience. Oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, been on, you know, been on the team with, you know, made it all the way to the finals and OKC to the Western Conference Finals, and it was just fun to, you know, fun to be a part of, uh, you know. Uh, you know, both organizations were great, you know, stand-up organizations, and I had a, a wonderful time. Just four years ago, you averaged 17 points a game. Was that D'Antoni's system? Was it opportunity? Kind of? Uh, I mean, opportunity just, you know, presents itself. Uh, you know, every year I've been in the league, you know, you know, I've, 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 I've been better in, you know, each category. Uh, I've, con you know, considered myself getting better every year. And, you know, well, one year I just, you know, that year I had was just a, a good all-around year that I had. And uh, have fun, and it was it was it was great. And just hope I can continue that. You're a Seattle guy, Jamal Crawford, Brandon Roy. The list goes on and on. What's up with the rain up there? What you guys got a ton <laughs> of NBA guys up there? Uh, I mean, we got a, a, our fair share. <laughs> we had uh, Jason Terry, Doug Christie, you know, Aaron Brooks, Terrence Williams, Marvin Martell, Spencer Haas. Oh, you know, we have a, a lot of guys. You know, we out there. We just love to play basketball. You know, we just do it. You know, because we love it and. Uh, and we just want to be winners, and we want to win. And you have a football background. Did the lockout make you uh, have second thoughts? Uh, no, but I wanted to try out. <laughs> I went to the Seattle facility just to you know check it out, just to you know get uh, you know get a, you know get a different look on things, and uh, it really just it just helped me you know continue to work harder. You know, it just gave me that that hunger that I needed. You know, to to you know to really get through the lockout, and uh, and I did that. Your coach at UW, Lorenzo Romar, he was a warrior. A, did you know that? And B, talk about his influence on your life. Uh, I mean, Coach Romar is great. You know, he's been a great guy. You know, he was there when my son was born. You know, and uh, as a coach, you know, he's like a father, and he, he's just been uh, uh, a great piece, you know, to the puzzle of my life. And I really appreciate Coach Romar what he's done for me and my family. And you know, it's been fun, you know, to be a part of a guy that you know loves loves you know loves winning. You know, Coach Romar is, uh, you know, he's an X's, X's and O's type of guy, and he loves, you know, for people to do things the right way, players as well, and he loves to see his players grow to be, you know, young men, and he's definitely, uh, he definitely groomed me. In becoming Speaking a great of your man. son, I saw him uh, playing a little football on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my son, he loves it. Save this for the last year, three-time dunk champ. We know a little bit about that here with Jay Rich, but you want to be known as more than that. You want to be known as a complete player, right? Uh, I mean, I consider myself a complete player. I mean, it's funny because I I really don't dunk that much in games. I just you know you know dunk contests whenever it calls, but I get dunks here and there. But uh, you know two points is two points, no matter how you get it. But uh, at the same time, I just love to play basketball. No matter uh, if it's dunking, if it's shooting, blocking shots, loose balls, steals, points, rebounds, whatever it is, I'm just trying to be a part of it. And just uh, a main objective is to win, and I'm just trying to be a winner.